Find an oversized dress made with soft velvet and turn it into this fun cropped wide leg jumpsuit. That's versatility allows you to wear it to a casual brunch or a wedding. This flattering silhouette accentuates your body in all the right places, creating that head turning look. Let's get started. Because my velvet dress is stretchy, I could just cut straight to the size I needed. I don't need darts. So I wanted to keep the zippers intact, then I didn't have to install it later. I unzipped it to move it out of the way. I also wanted the neckline to stay intact because there was lining in it already. So I wanted to raise the neckline so I cut some of the shoulder off. Mimic the front and back seam of the shoulders because they are not exactly the same. You can cut them to be the same. It won't make that much of a difference. After this, cut your new side seams. Fold in half and copy the cut you already just did. Seam pick the zipper from the bottom half because you will want to keep that zipper for later. My dress came with lining, so I sewed the lining back to the neckline and the armholes. If yours does not, then you can just sew in some interfacing or just sew under the neckline, making sure that the zipper pull does not come off the zipper teeth. Sew so the shoulder seams and the side seams set aside. Take the bottom half of the dress and lay it flat. Find a pair of pants that are loose fitted and stretchy. I like these pajamas. Lay the back center seam on one side, cut it out, and lay the front center seam on the other side and cut that out. Now you have two leg pieces. Fold each piece in half and sew up the inseam. Turn the leg pieces right side out and line them on top of each other. Pin together the front center seam and the back center seam. It will create a U-shape just like a pair of pants would. Here's another angle of me pinning the front center seam and the back center seam together. Sew that U-shape together to create the pants. Try the pants on, and if you need to take it in on the waist anymore, then take it in a few inches on the side seams. Pull the pants through the top right sides together. Align and pin the side seams and the back together. Sew it together. In order to keep the waist nice and fitted, I added quarter inch to half inch elastic. Measure elastic out around your waist, then pin to the waist of the jumpsuit. Stretch the elastic to fit the jumpsuit while you sew. Zigzag stitch it in place. Trim off any excess. Now you can see there's still an opening where the zipper is. We're going to attach the zipper to the pants of the jumpsuit. Seam rip a few inches down to about where the zipper ends. Then you're going to sew the edge of the zipper to the edge of the opening of the back of the jumpsuit. I have an invisible zipper foot here, but if you don't, you can see all you have to do is pull open the zipper teeth, pull flat the zipper teeth, and sew pretty close to that. And then you can flip it under. Pull the bottom of the zipper through and pull. There's a couple more options you can do to change this jumpsuit up to make it more your style. You can obviously add sleeves or you can not make it cropped and have it all the way go to the floor for a floor length look. Thank you for watching and please subscribe below to see more of these tutorials to come.